He almost, almost had a bad night. Can't go, can't go camping without s'mores. So we went and got some graham crackers, marshmallows, and chocolate. Rocker, you're happy now, right? He's been asking for s'mores all summer, so. Anyways, let's head that way, guys. guys welcome back to the channel we've got a uh, another camping video for you we haven't done one in, how long has it been is it two years since we've been camping mm -hmm. so we haven't been camping in two years a lot has changed um, if you guys have followed along or seen some of our previous camping videos uh, you'll know that we have a rooftop tent you might be able to see it peeking through the back window there we have a rooftop tent and love it. Ve uh, Overland Vehicle Systems, it's like a California king when it's unfolded. It's a Cadillac of rooftop tents. Um, but I traded trucks last year, so I no longer have the Frontier. So if you guys did follow along, you know that we had the Frontier kind of set up and, and uh, working our way toward making it an overlanding vehicle. Got rid of it, that's gone. And if you haven't really noticed, I've only done a few videos on the channel since. We got a new truck, so we'll show you when we get to where we're going. Um, I just fabricated everything this week to be able to mount the uh, the bed rack to the to the new truck, get the tent up. So wanted to jump out and do it just a little quick in and out uh, camping trip. We're not even going nowhere remote. We're not going anywhere fancy. We're literally going to. Uh, it's focusing on Rocker's face. We're literally going to. Um, uh, Beth's parents uh, have a piece of property literally right down the road from where we live. So it's uh, just w a really good idea. We don't want to go somewhere uh, on a long trip without testing everything, making sure that we like how the new setup's working. So we're just going to go over here. It's a nice little piece of property. We'll get tucked away. Um, probably be, be a little more alone than going to a campground anyways um, if we were to go to a, you know, a big campground have people all around you so we'll kind of be by ourselves for the night it's been really really hot for the past month here in uh, northeast tennessee so getting a late start just so we don't have to sit in the heat as long it's 6 30 now it'll take us literally seven minutes to get where we're going and we'll film uh kind of the night for you guys setting up the tent showing you the new truck showing you all the gear we'll, we'll make may make a video or two out of this and uh just trying to have a good time get out it's supposed to get down to like mid 60s tonight I think so it should be really good sleeping weather and uh, we got the dog and uh, rocker back there somewhere playing around they're gonna have fun tonight too so y'all hang in there and uh, hopefully we have a good night
All right, guys, so uh, if you haven't noticed or you haven't seen previous videos, I haven't really talked about it, but we got a, a new rig this year, uh, traded actually last year for a uh, 2021 Chevrolet Silverado Trail Boss 1500, and we absolutely love it. Um, it's gonna be a lot bigger than what we had before, but uh, a lot more space for Riker and the dog in the back, a lot more space for us to carry gear inside of it. But so far, we really love it. We've only done a few things to it. We put some bigger tires on it. We put some 35 uh, by 1250 Wild Peaks Goku. by Falcon. And um, other than that, the only thing we've done is come on over here. Uh, this week, like I was telling you guys, I actually just upgraded. I took my hot metal fab bed rack that I had on the Nissan Frontier. And uh, I've done a little bit of modifications to it because I wanted to keep my bed cover on so I could keep stuff dry storage in here. So I, I've done a little modification, but I got this thing to where it'll mount on here now. And I've got the uh, Overland Vehicle Systems Nomadic 4 rooftop tent on top. If you guys follow the channel, you've seen this before. Just been on the Nissan instead of this. So i uh, got it all up here. I got my Fiskars mounted on this side. I got a camp shovel mounted on the other side. But other than that, we'll, uh, we'll show you guys the vehicle and we'll start setting up and then we'll kind of talk through some gear tonight or tomorrow. And we're just gonna try to get some supper cooked before the sun goes down. We've got a couple hours before it gets dark. So we'll get everything set up, get the camp set out and uh, we'll start cooking. So hang in there with us. All right, guys, I just wanted to take a minute to tell you about the setup, especially the tent we have. This is an Overland Vehicle Systems Nomadic 4. Basically what that is, is it's a four person tent and as you can tell with the ease of setup on this thing, it's the only way to go. With a couple people, you can have this thing up and running in probably less than three minutes. They do make an over, uh, Nomad 2, a Nomad 3, and a Nomad 4, all representing the amount of sleepers inside. The Nomadic 4 has open dimensions of 75 inches by 122 inches by 51. Closed dimensions of 75 by 47 by 14. A sleeping footprint of 74 by 94.5. That's basically a king size bed inside. It does have a three inch memory foam mattress that is quite comfortable, I might add, and has a weight capacity of 950 pounds. So if you're looking for something that's a one stop shop to do it all, definitely go for the Nomadic 4. We absolutely love ours and uh, we can't wait to make many more adventures with it. If you guys would like to see a dedicated video just on this tent, leave me a comment below and I'd be glad to show you. All right, y'all, there you go. We got camp set up. We, uh, well, almost, let me get my chair in its right position. Um, yeah, pretty uh, pretty smooth setup here. Really digging that I got this uh, rooftop tent put back onto the Trail Boss. We, uh, we really enjoy camping. And like I said, we didn't go anywhere fancy today. We're literally seven, eight minutes from our house, but uh, Beth's dad bought this place back when her and I were dating back in high school and he built this place for all of us to come and do this kind of stuff right here. It's a pretty good sized lot. It's mostly wooded so we're we've got that feeling that we're out in the nature. There's no houses close enough by that they're going to bother us. Uh, he does have this wonderful barn that he built as a venue to do some weddings and stuff and then they've got a house down here that they've been working on so we just decided to come here give us a test run of the setup so let me show y'all what camp looks like and uh, we'll uh, we'll do a little bit of cooking here in just a few minutes that sun is wicked um, it's probably an hour until sunset so we're going to get everything going so let me show you what, what camp looks like here all right so uh, just to uh, recap 2021 Chevrolet Trail Boss got the 5.3 in it nothing too special inside got the uh, four inch lift with the 35s like I said inside there's nothing too special here we just typical stuff I keep a bunch of knives and dip and my concealed carries right there for now that'll go in the tent with us here in a little bit uh, back seat this is the main reason we wanted to upgrade the truck look at all this room you got back here it's just monstrous rocker and Goku on tra travel trips they have a lot of extra space that they didn't have but 
Uh, just a typical duffel bag with my clothes in it, um, iPad, stuff like that. Got your toilet paper and uh, paper towels. We got our s'more stuff here. We'll have to get that out. Got my camera bag with my bigger lens in it. And uh, that's pretty much it. I keep a rain jacket in here all the time. Under Armour rain jacket just in case there's quick showers. But the main event is this rooftop tent. Like I said, this is the Overland Vehicle Systems. And it is the Nomadic 4. It is a monstrosity of a tent. As you can see, it's as big as the truck. Might be a little too dark, but uh, we'll do some video in the morning. But this thing, as far as having space, it is a king size bed. And I'll, uh, I'll do a little clip and tell you guys some of the specs about it as well. Um, there's my kind of like tin for everything, the tote for everything. I keep all my cookware, bug spray, gloves. I got a little mini axe. I got my coffee stuff in here. Riker's got the bug ring on it. Keeps us mosquitoes away. They're pretty handy. Uh, all our cookware stuff. I got a uh, tire kit. All that in here. So, yeah, we're pretty excited about it. Um, Moving along, the hot metal fab, is that Ori? I think so. Got the hot metal fab um, rack, once again, Trail Boss. I made this thing retrofit to where I could keep my tonneau cover on here and uh, keep everything dry storage. So everything you see that's packed out here, we got our chairs. Oh, I want to show you these chairs. They're pretty neat. Um, Riker's got his beach chair, and then we just bought these. $19.99. They, they're not real compact. They fold up nice, but yeah. um, these are really good chairs. They've got a little table on them. The rector chair. Super comfy, ain't they, Riker? Yeah, we bought these to go to uh, the Kingsport Raceway. Yep, Kingsport Race, and uh, we really like them so far. Yeah. But uh, moving on, got our t a tote here, and then I got these little lights. These things are awesome. Let me show you. So you just pull them out. I'm trying to do this with one hand. I got these on Amazon and they are perfect, perfect little camp lights. I keep one right here. This is a, probably a better one. So at night time when you're coming in and out of the tent, really nice, uh, nice way to be able to see what you're doing. And then I keep one back here as well. And then we normally take one up inside the tent with us as we go. I brought some hammocks in case we wanted to lounge out in the morning. Uh, igloo. Um, Six gallon water reservoir. Just filled it up from the hose before I left the house. Got some candles burning as well to keep the mosquitoes away because they'll eat you up and fly away with you here in Tennessee. Uh, and then the Blackstone, we'll probably make breakfast on that in the morning. And then uh, what we're fixing to cook our tacos on, we got some uh, flour tortillas or mix. And then I've got this little Coleman uh, propane stove. It just same thing as that Blackstone, takes a little propane. They're like 10 bucks for two of them. It's a way to go. You can make whatever you want. I got a, a griddle that goes on this thing as well. And uh, yeah, I mean, you can't ask for more, but this is kind of what I use if I'm not cooking on the Coleman. I'll come over here and make breakfast in the, the Blackstone. Um, yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty much it, guys. Trying to get the fire going here. Uh, I can show you what's for supper. Shout out to Caroline Farms, a uh, buddy of mine. His uh, father owns this company down in uh, Landrum, South Carolina. But uh, they're 100% uh, Wagyu. They raise them there, and they just started shipping. Let's see if you guys can read that. I don't know. Yeah, Caroline Farms. It's uh, really good, really, really good meat. But it's all 100% Wagyu, and uh, we're going to make tacos with it tonight. So... Um, looking at the cooler, and I'll tell you what, guys, I'm I'm a camper on a budget. This igloo cooler I got here a couple years ago, this thing holds ice for like three days, solid. So highly, highly, highly recommend this. But we got plenty of beverages in here. Got our cheese to go with the tacos. Got some uh, bacon in the morning, applewood bacon, and some eggs. We'll just make some bacon and eggs and throw them up on the griddle and mix them up. But let me go ahead and get uh, let me go ahead and get supper started. Appreciate y'all for watching. It's been a minute since we've done a video. I understand, and I'm glad that you guys are here. I'm glad that we're out camping. It should be a great night. Temperature's going to keep dropping. It's hot as balls right now, but uh, temperature's going to keep dropping, and 
should be really good, so we'll keep you guys updated. You can tell them that we just fed Goku. Supper ready, Mom? It's ready. All right, we'll start making us some tacos here. Goku just had his dinner, too. Yeah, Goku's down there having his dog tacos. <laughs> you hungry? Yeah. Yeah, we finally got the fire going, too. And I got, uh, I got my Mountain Dew here, not sponsored. <laughs> so... All right, let's get us something to eat. We'll uh, check back in. Like the raceway cars. How's the s'more, bro? Good. Delicious? Mm-hmm. Let's see, lean over here when we can see you eat it. Let's see you take a bite. You ate it all! How's your s'more, Mom? Go okay. go. Let me go get a pepper towel. Ah, so so far, this thing's right in my face. So far, it's a pretty good success. We uh, got everything set up, worked out exactly how I wanted it to. Made tacos, as you've seen. Finishing off with some s'mores. Sit by the fire and uh, enjoy the rest of the night. It's 9:22 and it's just now getting dark. There's still some light up in the sky, but uh, yeah, you can throw it in the fire. But it's been a real good night. Goku's doing really good, other than getting into stuff he shouldn't get into. But he's staying right here at the camp with us. He's a good pup. Um, yeah, really excited to get out and do some more camping this year. Um, here's Goku. Hi, <laughs> Goku. Really excited to get out and do some more camping. Like I said, we may uh, we may hit some weekend adventures, a couple, you know, Friday, Saturday nights, and then probably do a, uh, a fishing trip and camping for, the, for that, and then a couple hunting trips this year. Me and Heath are going to go up to Ohio. Um, oops, sorry, Mom. And do a, uh, do a camping slash hunting trip, do a little cool little video for that. That'll be over at Holly Ridge Outdoors. That's my... Uh, hunting channel I do with my buddy Heath Seal. But uh yeah, really excited about this guys. Glad I finally quit dragging my knuckles and got around. Goku, get over here. Finally glad I quit dragging my knuckles and got this up on the uh on the trail boss. This is a perfect truck for this. It's got way more space than what we had with the uh, frontier. We can haul some more gear um, or we can haul all the gear we had just a little more comfortable. So really excited about it. Anyways, let's uh, settle in, watch a fire for the night, and uh, we'll catch you guys in the morning. Now it's supposed to be in the 60s tonight. Is it? Yeah. I look out across the water I smell the song I feel the breeze But in my Until we've had a little weather move in, uh, it sprinkled rain off and on last night. <clears throat> I enjoyed it when it did rain, rain hitting the tent. 
definitely put me to sleep a little easier, but uh, as far as the tent goes, everything's great the way we got it set up. Really tickled with that. Goku didn't sleep hardly at all last night. He kept getting up and moving around, getting up and moving around. Anyways, um, we got up this morning, take a leak, and uh, it's coming a pretty good one now. All of our gear is still down there. Hopefully the rain fly is doing well because it's, it's coming down. As soon as I get a little bit of a break in the wind or in the rain, I'm going to go down there and get, uh, get the stove. Try to cook us a little breakfast up here. Luckily, we come over to my father-in-law's and uh, just for this reason, we got uh, shelter here, so we get up out of the room. But it is absolutely coming down right now. Hopefully, get some breakfast down there. I'll check it out. Let's give it an old taste test. Good stuff. We're gonna enjoy our breakfast. Get a little footage of cleaning up camp. We'll head toward the house. Alright guys, we uh, successful trip other than the storm this morning, but uh, luckily had shelter to uh, hide out and cook some breakfast. It's passed over now, there's a chance of some more rain throughout the day, so I'm going to take this opportunity to go ahead and pack up the camp in the video here. Uh, appreciate you guys for watching as always. Be sure to give us a thumbs up, subscribe for more content, let me know some comments down below what you think about the gear. If you got any questions, I'll be glad to answer them. Or if you want to see a specific video here in Northeast Tennessee, uh, camping related, let me know. We'll try to do what we can to help you guys out. Just a really good night. Glad to get out here with my family on my father-in-law's land. Um, he uh, he passed away almost a year ago uh, due to COVID. So he, he built this place, bought this place back when me and Beth were dating in high school. And... He wanted his kids and grandkids to come out here and use it. That's what he built this place for, is for us to use. So just really glad to get the opportunity to come out here and camp. I hunt on this property, and every time I come out here, I can't help but just think of him and uh, um, help keep his memory alive by coming out here. So he's really glad to be able to do this. It's a great place to camp. Anyways, I'll quit mumbling. Y'all be sure to check me out, and remember to get outdoors.